we vow to make our products ethically, but also everything that we, you know, how we operate is very much caring for the community, caring for the environment. Um, so in our department, we really take that seriously. And producing marketing, obviously you're producing a lot of, you know, substrates, waste. And so we've really been focused on sustainability for the past two or three years. Um, and you'll see a little bit about that. So sustainability is very important to us. Maybe every couple of months you say, you know, here's new materials, that new green materials, check them out. We took the liberty of printing your images on them so you could see what it looked like. That sort of proactiveness really stands out. And, you know, if we like it, we're going to use it. We're going to definitely jump on board. Um, and then lastly, just you know, we talked about it, proactively helping us with sustainable um, materials and offering or looking into or helping us figure out recycling and reuse opportunities. That's very important to us as well. Our sustainable marketing mission is to work with suppliers that operate sustainably. Um, I'm not sure if all of you know about SGP, but it's a sustainable green printing partnership, I believe. And um, we're hoping a lot of, you know, most of our key suppliers will join that certification because it really proves that they're operating in a very green way. So in 2011, we replaced all of our vinyl and plastic-based uh, graphics with a greener solution. And since then, all, all of our brands, and Taylor and Loft, strictly only use um, stretch fabric graphics in our windows as the sole component for our displays. Um, but now we even have our fabric in Ann Taylor Factory and Loft Outlet and starting hopefully for Lou and Gray. We, over the past, you probably heard us, maybe some of you heard us last year speak about uh, our recycling initiatives for fabric programs. Um, we definitely have, we're still on the road to it. We haven't figured it out. So we're definitely still open to anyone that can help us figure it out. But we have th this far significantly decreased the usage of our non-recyclable and toxic materials and reduce a very big portion of our landfill waste. The consistency, the cost, and the lead times of sustainable materials, you know, especially recycled fabric, foil cardstock, PVC-free cling, and vinyl. I mean, as Libra said, we only usually have, you know, up to 10 days total for production, and if a material has a seven to 10 day lead time, then it's kind of difficult to get it in stores when it needs to post.